This is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, and it's the perfect entry-level supercar. It's got all-wheel drive for sure-footedness and security, a nose lift function so you don't scrape it on speed bumps, and it's also got the kind of extreme styling that makes it look like it's going fast even when it's not. But although this is the first run of the supercar ladder, there's nothing at all junior about its performance. This is the last Lamborghini sports car with a pure petrol powertrain. It has a V10 with no hybrid assistance whatsoever, just 5.2 litres of naturally aspirated fury, making a brawny 630 break horsepower. It's hard to believe that the most junior supercar in the Lamborghini stable can dispatch the 0-62 Sprint in just 2.9 seconds and then max out at 202 miles an hour. These are outrageous figures that would have shamed a Formula One car just a few decades ago. I've been lucky enough to live with this actual car for the past three months. It's been my only way of getting around, going to the airport, shopping trips, hockey matches, school runs, you name it. We've really put it through its paces in the gruelling car magazine long-term test, which you can read every month in print, digital editions, and on our spangly new members' website. It's this duality of purpose that marks out the Hurricane as something rather special. We've tested every Lamborghini from the past six decades, and this is the friendliest, easiest supercar to drive of them all, I'd say. So long as there are only two of you, there's very little it can't do. But come on, who are we kidding? This is a supercar, right? Its whole purpose is to excite and thrill. <laughs> Road is where the Hurricane Evo belongs. It's a genuinely exciting junior supercar and one that you'll enjoy letting off the leash when the open road beckons. It feels every inch as fast as those performance claims suggest. And you'll rarely have to dip far into the V10's deep reserves to make decent progress or overtake slower traffic. <laughs> It's a sign of the times that the slowest Lamborghini supercar is just monstrously, epically fast. Dear me. But the all-wheel drive version tames all that power and makes it very deployable, very easy to use, really, all year round. It's the perfect all-season supercar. So it's a very good driving position. I can see out perfectly forwards. View out rear is okay as well. There's no heating element on the screen, so it can freeze over in the winter. You have to wait for the V10 heating element to do its thing. Otherwise, in here, it's a lovely cabin. It's not too high tech, I quite like that. It's got this beautiful Alcantara steering wheel, which is just a joy to hold. And the paddles, these lovely slivers of aluminium here, to tip tap up and down through the gearbox are just an absolute joy. One of the things I like about the Hurricane is it's not too big. It's very easy to place on the road. I've driven the big V12 monsters, the Aventadors, the, the Murphy Alargos. This is easy to place on the road and just, it's right sized for the UK, you know, it really is. I love some of the Italian detailing. We're in strada mode for street, but we can go into sport or even coarser and you just start getting some massive snap, snap, crackle and pop and the exhaust baffles open and it gets very loud indeed. One of the things we don't like about the Hurricane is these extraordinary little indicators up here on the steering wheel. They've for some reason gone the same way as Ferrari and these buttons are just utterly hopeless. 
when you're mid corner, it's an absolute nightmare to try and work out which way you're indicating. You have to cancel them by pressing them, all in the name of not having a stalk in the way of the lovely aluminium gear selectors. And it's the same on the wipers. I mean, deary me, trying to work these out is an absolute random act of hit and hope. It really is. They don't really work very well, if I'm honest. The Hurricane Evo is a real head turner, especially in this optional 9,000 pound bright yellow paintwork. But it's pretty easy to drive around town and the optional axle lift system is a godsend when negotiating speed bumps and humpback bridges that might otherwise scuff the nose. I do worry about parking up and leaving a car worth nearly 217,000 pounds in public You'll often find me parking at the furthest corner of the car park to avoid any unwanted attention. Still, at least it means we can drop in on the Lambo Learner Driver School, because if this Hurricane is as easy to drive as I say it is, then surely my teenage son can even have a go, can't he? No. After 3,000 miles and the stern test of everyday life, we reckon the Lamborghini Huracan Evo is the supercar that can do it all. Many exotic vehicles are bought as special playthings. Cars to be garaged, treated with kid gloves and only unleashed for special occasions. Not so our Huracan. It's so easy to drive every day. It's proven faultlessly reliable, manages 20-something MPG, and it can cope with anything from long journeys to short shopping trips. It's a thrilling reminder of what an exciting and usable sports car the starter Lamborghini is. The Hurricane's replacement arrives in 2024, bringing to an end a decade of junior supercar thrills. The next one will adopt a part electrified hybrid powertrain, making this the last in a long line of pure petrol-powered Italian mid-engined exotica. Enjoy it while you can, folks.